Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a Kiwi Crate and I'm excited to open this one up and to tell you what it is. It really is exciting to me. And so if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you unboxings, which is what we're doing today, to give you curriculum ideas, organizational ideas, and ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this crate. Okay, so the Kiwi Crate this month is Fizzy Chemistry Lab, which just sounds super fun. I love it when they incorporate a lot more science into these activities. So the last several months, I feel like we've had more science-y ones. So this says experiment with acids and bases and ex explore, I can't read right now, <laughs> explore bubbly chemistry. So that just sounds super fun. I actually have never taken chemistry. I have sort of learned some chemistry here and there, but I've never taken a chemistry class. So, so this will be fun for us. It'll be new for me and for him. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. We have, this is our instructions, I believe. And we have a few different activities in here, usually, that we get to do. And then we have our little magazine booklet that's gonna talk about fizzy chemistry. And they usually have a lot of fun things. So they have science of acids and bases in here. So you could talk about, there's food right here. So I'm a food, I'm a food lover person. <laughs> just whatever, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I love food, I love baking, I love cooking, and I took some, that's why I've taken a little bit of chemistry, I took it in order to do some of my major, because I used to be a, what would you call it, home ec <laughs> major, and so we had to learn some cooking stuff, we had to learn chemistry, basic chemistry for that. But there's a lot of fun activities in here, and usually they have some fun food item. They have bath bombs, so that would be a cool thing to make. So they also have this little chemistry experiments book. This is exciting. I'm, this feels like more one of their science kits. You can just buy their kits from the store on kiwico.com. And that's kind of what this is feeling like to me. So I'm really excited for him to go through this. This is a little booklet. And then we have a bunch of citric acid right here. If you can see that. And, whoa, what's this? Bubble gel. <laughs> it just reminds me of hand sanitizer because that's all we've been seeing for the last forever. <laughs> and then we have a little cup right here. We have beakers, is that what these ones are called? Again, I don't know, I'm not a chemistry person. And then we have the little droppers for them to use to do their experiments. Some popsicle sticks to stir stuff around. Eyeballs, I'm not really sure what these ones are gonna be used for. They're part of the experiment, eyeballs. And then these are little baggies. They have little, the little zips on the top of them. And we have some Q-tips in here, a little measuring thing. And then, I don't know what this is, a foam piece maybe, I'm not really sure. And then we have, uh, these might be tissue paper, a really thick tissue paper. And there's some cutouts, you can't really see them very well, but there's some different cutouts in there. And then a little tray probably for our experiments and then some baking soda. <laughs> so if you need to use it for baking, then here you go. If you were running out, there's baking soda here. And that's what's in this kit. I am really excited for him to try some of these experiments. Even though these experiments usually only last for one time, I just feel like the kids learn a lot more from this type of a thing than making a project that might last a little longer, but just isn't as meaningful, I feel like. So I'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes. Shake it. Oh, open the door. 
So Manti, I wouldn't say he's finished his Kiwi Crate because there's a lot of activities in it, but we worked on some of the stuff in the Kiwi Crate and we had a lot of fun, huh? <laughs> we were blowing up bags. Well, we were trying not to blow up bags. I did freak out a little bit because- Me too. There, you did too. <laughs> there's one of the experiments where you fill the bags. These bags right here with baking soda and citric acid. And then it says if you don't want it to blow up <laughs> to make sure you open it because all of a sudden it's like big and poofy. And I was like, I don't want this to blow up in my house. And you might be able to see a little bit in the video when I kind of squeal at it. And then I like turn the video off. Anyways, it was pretty funny. But the thing with this Kiwi crate, which we've seen with some of the other ones that are similar, more sciencey, is there's not necessarily a really like a craft to show you that we completed because we just did a whole lot of experiments, which was a whole lot of fun. So we're going to just show you a few of the things that we can show you. So first we did these little guys. So these were with acids and bases. So it has you fill up containers with one with citric acid. There you go. And it has a label for acid and base and then one with baking soda. And then you can draw on these. So one of them, it has you draw on with, I can't remember which one is which actually, which one causes what and you're shaking the camera, bud. he's like kicking the table. But, um, one of them causes it, the paper just to turn red. And then the other one just draws on it clear. So you can draw on it clear and then go back over it with the one that turns red. Like and, this. Yeah. And then it is like invisible ink. And then if you go, if you draw with the red one first, which is what we did here, then you go over it with the clear one, then it makes it go invisible again. So just some fun things with acids and bases, which I, are we paying, playing with that pipe at thing? Which I don't know a whole lot about, you know, like I cook a ton, but those kinds of things are a little bit harder for me to understand. So there was a lot of activities in here with that. So yes. Like baking soda and the acid. And the acid, the citric acid. And then we also have the bubble gel, which is what we use to make little balls that um, helped volcano. They were like volcanoes explode. So <laughs> he's going to show you in here. So we did tons of different activities. So let me just open this and show you the ones that it shows in this booklet. And then there's so much more than that. So in here it has, this is the citric, this is the base and acid mixture, which is what I was talking about, the color changing doodles. So it gives you a bunch of different activities you can do with that and you can write, you know, your little secret message there. So that was a lot of fun. And then it gives you some other activities here. You could use some of your critters at home, not critters, but you know, like your dinosaur toys and Manti. stuff on it. Oh, yep. So he wrote his name here. It's kind of hard to see, but it says Manti. It got smaller. <laughs> and then it has the monsters here, which they did. So this is multicolored monsters. So that was fun. And you get to put the little eyeballs on them. And then this is the one where you use the little gel stuff, the bubble gel right here, and you put it in the container. So they have you put hot water in one container and cold water in the other. And then you drop in your little balls that I think are made with the baking soda and the gel. And then you have some of the citric acid as well. And then you see which one erupts faster, you know? And so that was a lot of fun for them to watch. And the well, this one is not like acid acid. It's like a different <laughs> type of acid in rocks. Oh, it looks like rocks, right? They're little crystals, not like acid liquid, I guess. Is that what you would think? Okay, can you put your phone? It keeps kicking the camera. Oh, now we're riding on a roller coaster. <laughs> so, so that's the activities in this booklet. I know, I'm a hoot. And Not really. This one? Dad is the funny one. Oh. But then there's tons in this book as well. And he I really wants he... to do this one. So we haven't done this yet. And he really wants to do it. So oh. we'll get around to this one. Like I said, there's still so many activities you can do in here which is why it's a lot of fun, but there's just not really a craft to show you. So you could do this with acid or base. It gives you a whole bunch of these little strips right here. Uh -huh. And so you could, yep, he's showing you. Oh, and this is the coolest one I like. <laughs> Cause he dipped half and half. And so this, those ones are just dipped in our own like citric acid and baking soda mixture. 
and to see which one's an acid and which one's a base. But it also suggests you could dip them in like your milk and other like liquids within your own home and just see what color the strips turn to let you know if it's an acid or a base. So that activity's in here. And then we did the bag, the blowing up bag right here. And so that one was a lot of fun as well. Again, if you don't want the bag to explode in your house, which I wonder if it really would, part of me is like, should we let it try to explode? So we did it the first time and it almost did explode. It was huge and he didn't know what to expect. And so the next time we did it, he was a little bit more cautious and opened it really fast because he had seen what happened the first time. And so he was like, I'm not gonna let it try to blow up. But there's still a few more activities in here that you can do. And then there's also several in here. So there's so many chemistry activities and we still have a lot of citric acid. And then baking soda, you know, is pretty easy like kitchen item. So if you run out of that, you could use that. Because the in here, the color changing, that's not the right one. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to say. Oh, they have the DIY bath bombs. And this uses citric acid baking soda and your scoop that they give you and so if you wanted to make that it uses some things from your crate as well yeah. so don't use all your citric acid but then i didn't even see this one but color changing lemonade that would be cool to do so you could make some lemonade that changes colors and, and, and drink it and drink it do you think it'll make you change colors yep no <laughs> but they have like kitchen chemistry in here. There's just so many fun activities, you know, talking about acids and bases again with food. So you could do so many fun things with this and we have only kind of scratched the surface. He wants to do more activities and we're going to do some more activities, but all of my kids love this. So this is a crate, I feel like if you got it, you could do it with all of your kids because there's a lot of activities to do and all my kids were kind of gathered around. He was usually doing most of this stuff but everyone was gathered around watching it and just loving it. And they're playing like in the baking soda mixture and everything. And it was just a lot of fun. So this has been one of the best crates we've had in a while. And I really like the more science oriented ones just because even though we don't have a specific craft to show you that of a thing that he made, there's just been a lot of experiments and it's way more fun for my kids. They just enjoy it so much more. Yeah. this. <clears throat> this is Lucy and this guy that like sucks all the juice and out. Oh, he sucks all the juice out? Huh. So was there a hard part? Were any of them really hard for you to do? Do you feel like? Mm, yeah. You no. Know. No? <laughs> well, well, the bag one was kind of confusing. The bag one was kind of confusing. <laughs> what was your favorite thing that we did? Nothing? All of it. All of it. <laughs> He loved all of it, huh? If you can just make a mess or blow something up, then it's the best day ever. <laughs> so we're excited to see what next month's Kiwi Crate brings. So if you enjoy seeing these videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.